Hi friends. Eight years ago, I started my personal development journey by Googling how to stop procrastinating. And I think that the kind of the reason that I did that hasn't hasn't gone away. I still procrastinate in in if I was using those words, but I wouldn't frame uh, the question quite like that anymore because what I've realized is that procrastination is a symptom and it's not a, the cause. Um, for me, if I am um, excited, passionate, driven by a project, I will never procrastinate on it. But if um, somehow I'm missing the feeling, um, then I can spend hours doing the, the opposite of what I should be doing. <laughs> and uh, if I'm missing the feeling, it doesn't mean that is the wrong project. That that's easy, and I think I, I've made the mistake in the past where I thought to myself, "Oh, it must be the wrong project. I need to find something else that I am passionate about." But that's, that's not the same. It's not the. It's not really the issue. The issue is that I'm not in the right emotional state for the work to be passionate about it. Um, and there's a difference between being logically passionate about it and being emotionally in state. So logically, I'm passionate about everything that I do. Because if I, the way, the, the way, the place where I'm now in my life, um, the stuff that I'm working on are awesome. I, I love the things that I work on. But that doesn't mean that I'll always be in the right state that I need to be in to do the work and to be passionate in the moment. And, and if I'm not passionate, if I don't have the energy, the, the fuel, the emotional fuel in the moment, then um, it's very difficult to do the work. In fact, I would say it's impossible. So, um, yeah, so I, I find myself now, I'm, I'm, I'm traveling, I'm on holiday, and I sort of told myself, um, while I'm traveling, I want to spend a, you know, a little bit of time every day um, doing some work, doing some, getting some stuff done, working on some of the projects that I'm working on. And um, I find that quite difficult because um, there's, uh, I guess, other things that are kind of taking my time while I'm traveling that I enjoy doing, and I don't want to be focused too much. Um, I don't want to be this person who's, you know, like a workaholic working all the time. So... Um, yeah, I felt kind of a cop about that. Um, but um, what I've realized today is that, and I've gotten a few things done today uh, that have kind of become urgent, is that um, when they become urgent, then I get into the, the right state and it just gets done very quickly. Um, and, and yeah, the, it kind of just re, re, um, reiterated for me the importance of that um, emotional state for doing anything. So um, if you're kind of questioning yourself, why can't I get this done? Why can't I put my just my mind to it and focus? And I think um, the number one most likely reason is that you don't have the right emotional state and um, getting into that state is actually not that difficult. If once you know that the state is the issue, then you can jump up and do um, 20 star jumps and your state will start to shift already um, and, and there's lots of different ways you can shift your state um, so yeah I just thought I wanted to share that today I've been thinking about it um, and I'm curious do you, have you ever thought of yourself as, as procrastinating too much um, have you ever noticed that you just don't have the right energy to do things that you want to do um, and how do you do how do you deal with that how do you get over that curious to hear your thoughts and um, I'll see you tomorrow